Life is a story, just like any other. Much like a book, a movie, or an ancient tale. Our lives are part of a great story that we can barely comprehend. Shakespeare captured this when he said, all the world's a stage. But what separates a story from reality is its narrator. Someone who bridges the gap between the story and reality. And as a narrator, he has the power to speed up the environment around him, slow it down to a pause, or even reverse time. Hey, hey, call 911, she was shot. The narrator has the ability to silence at will and explain to the audience his beliefs and share his knowledge. For instance, in this situation, the killer is present. You wouldn't have known that had I not divulged it to you. And as intended, I have now established the main conflict for the story. A good narrator lets the audience know just enough to keep them interested, but not enough to reveal everything. The audience knows only what the narrator has intended. And the omniscient narrator has now become the omnipotent narrator. Once the narrator is finished, the story continues. Once the concept of the story has been introduced, there is sometimes a lull in which the narrator can take time develop the story. However, in this story, as it progresses, there is no development. So allow me to give some information about the woman in the elevator. Her name is Lisa Manti. She was born July 21st, 1987, in Boston, Massachusetts. She's here visiting her brother for the first time. Now, the question still remains, why would someone want her dead? Well, there are many reasons. Rage, malice, envy, or perhaps the story just doesn't want her around. For whatever reason, Let's continue. to know who did it, and it's the narrator's job to let them know who, not why. That's the interpretive right of the audience. One of the advantages a story sometimes has over reality is that the events are obvious, meticulously woven into every detail of the story, so that the audience knows what's going on. Life over is far more senseless, far more messy. Hey, hey, call 911, she was shot.